the day. You know, maybe you have meditated in the past and you've fallen off, or maybe it's an entirely new endeavor for you. Um, but I think all of us in our own way, either experientially or theoretically understand the benefits of meditation. And there are many, uh, many, many benefits. So what I wanna say is whether you're here to help you with anxiety or to help you be more focused or more grounded or all of the above, um, you're in the right place. And the other thing I really want to emphasize is that meditation or this practice of mindfulness is not about stopping our thoughts, right? Like it's absolutely not about that. The real invitation is to become aware of the nature of our mind. And you likely already have some glimpse into the nature of your mind, which is why you have chosen to come to practice meditation. So the nature of our mind, the very nature, is that it is thinking, and especially the egoic mind. It's very self-cherishing, me this, me that. Um, and so as we, you know, week after week, and hopefully you'll practice throughout the week when we're not together, it's learning to watch when you get into that place of thinking or impulsivity, reactivity, urgency, become aware of that and then make the choice to come back to the moment, to come back to the body and to the breath. So that's, that's the practice. It seems very simple, right? Um, and I think we all can say that it, it's, there are ways in which it's very simple and then there are ways in which it's also very challenging for us. So for today, for this week, week one, I wanna just focus on very basic, like creating a comfortable seat. So it looks like you guys have already found that. Um, I am partial to sitting upright in a chair. Of course, you're welcome to sit on the floor, cross-legged or on bricks, blocks. Um, I find that it allows for more grounding to actually like feel the feet on the earth, feel your legs in the chair, feel your sitting bones. So that's where we're gonna start. Um, Let's go ahead and I'll just like, take a few moments to let yourself settle in and just begin to connect with your breath. And often the first thing we become aware of as we begin to turn our attention inwards are is the busyness of the mind. And so even now, simply noticing that as you choose to focus on taking a few breaths. And as you exhale, using the exhalation to consciously relax your body. And so finding that seat where your perhaps your feet are touching the ground, really rooting down through your sitting bones, through your tailbone. The first thing we do is we take the seat and then allow your spine to be comfortable, tall yet relaxed. Your hands can rest on your thighs or in your lap, wherever it brings a feeling of comfort. Eyes can be softly open or closed. And so as we enter the practice, we can remind ourselves that there is no getting this right and there is no doing it wrong. This practice is about cultivating awareness 
and compassion for ourselves, for our thoughts, for our habituated emotions, reactivity. And the first thing we'll do to help us to actually relax the physical body and relax the mind is what I call rotation of consciousness. So in your mind's eye or with your awareness, bring your awareness to the area of your body. And as we do this, it actually facilitates a relaxation response in the body and in the mind. So we can begin by bringing awareness to the crown of the head. Bringing awareness to the right ear and the left ear. Back of the skull, back of the neck. Bringing awareness to the space between your eyebrows. the right eye and the left eye. Bringing awareness to the jaw, the mouth, the tongue. And with each exhalation, letting go of any sense of striving or efforting as best you can. The throat, the neck, bringing awareness to the center of your chest, the right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, right palm, and all of the fingers on your right hand. The whole right arm relaxing. Left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, palm of the left hand, and all of the fingers on your left hand. The whole left arm becoming heavy, center of your chest, upper back, middle back, lower back. And even now as your mind wanders, just gently bringing it back to this full body relaxation, center of the abdomen, lower abdomen, hips, floor of the pelvis, the right leg, right knee, right ankle, right foot, and all of the toes on your right foot, whole right leg, relaxing. The left leg, left knee, left ankle, left foot, and all of the toes on your left foot. And for a moment, just be aware of your whole body, your whole body sitting, breathing, letting go of efforting. And 
And for the next several minutes, allowing your awareness to rest very gently on your breath, either at the nostrils, feeling the breath flowing in and out, or resting in the felt sense of the breath in the abdomen and the torso. Remembering to look with the eyes of compassion at any thoughts or emotions that might be present. And then making that choice to come back to the body, to the moment and to the breath. And we can remind ourselves that this time is not a time for doing or completing tasks. But this time, this space is an offering to yourself time for being and presence. In that moment that we realize that we are caught in the thinking mind or planning or perhaps even the part of us that tends to worry or replay conversations, maybe the familiar rise of anger, frustration. It's in that moment when we can very gently intervene, that we create more spaciousness within ourselves. Taking this time to connect with the felt sense of the breath in the body. Most of us tend to live very dissociated, very disconnected 
from the felt sense of our bodies. And again and again, noticing the moments when we are off in the realm of thinking, and then very gently, the way you might guide or lead or a puppy, bring it back, bring your awareness back to the present. Resting gently your awareness on your breath. Maybe checking in again to just release any habitual tension through the shoulders, through the forehead, the jaw, the belly. And those moments of catching your thoughts or your emotions, like noticing when you sort of are on that train. Um, and sometimes it just happens so quickly. We're on that train of thought and emotionality, reactivity. And so just notice that you're on that and then get off at the next stop. Take a couple of breaths, come back to the moment. And then we can once again, sort of take, allow ourselves to feel into our whole body, feeling the feet on the floor, 
the hips in the chair. Being aware that you are practicing mindfulness. And as we begin to move towards closing, we can place one hand over our heart and one hand on our lower belly. Really feeling the breath in the body. Allow your hands to offer comfort to yourself. Remembering there's no getting it right. No doing it wrong. And then keeping the eyes closed, if they're closed, we can slowly bring the palms together and just gently begin to rub the palms over one another. So we create that little spark, that warmth, the healing light, potency of our hands. And let's place the hands over the closed eyes for a few breaths. Breathing in that warmth and healing energy deep into the eyes, deep into the brain center. Again, grounding yourself, feeling your feet, your legs. And then we can just use our hands to smooth over the face and maybe the hairline, just sweeping away any surface tension. Let the eyes gently open. And we'll take a few passes down our arms, just sweeping away. No rush, enjoy this. And just kind of sloughing off any other bits of surface tension. And same with the legs, take a few strong, like, you know, heavy strokes down the thighs and really feel your feet. And that is a basic idea of how we will practice each week. Um, each week I will talk a little bit less um, so there's more spaciousness for you, but still offering guidelines and feedback. Um, I think I, the thing I really want you to take away again is that to a few things is that you know you're you're really cultivating this time for you, right? So the tendency of the mind will be wanting to plan and make lists and maybe plan a summer vacation and then think about last summer and you know like and um, just keep keep coming back to the present. And in time, my hope is that you're able to really extend that compassion and almost a sense of humor. Like you'll begin to notice if you haven't already, like, wow, I'm thinking those thoughts again. Like each of us has a particular, I'll say pattern or particular way of habituating thinking, emotions and biochemistry, right? Because our thoughts influence our biochemistry. So the more we can intervene with kindness, the more it allows our whole being to uh, shift. So, do you guys have any questions for me or feedback? You don't have to, no pressure. It was lovely and it really brought me where I need to be for the rest of the day. Thanks, Patty. Thank you for being here, everybody. And I'll send you the email with the recording. It's the same link next week. Your homework is to practice. Um, practice, right? Practice makes practice. And don't be expecting bliss or ecstasy. It might happen, but like, it's really, it's a, yeah, it's a practice. So thank you guys for your presence this week. Reach out to me if you need anything and I'll see you next Wednesday.
Thanks, Martha. Thank you. Bye, everybody.